Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, Microsoft is doing something absolutely insane that I kind of want to go and share with you all. It's actually funny enough, first and foremost, not about the Xbox, thank God, but as well, a lot of the internet's been kind of seeing this brand new AI source from Microsoft as well, very, very crazy. Now, it's almost as crazy as my weird hair that made me look like Eminem, and in case you guys are curious, this one, I lost a Twitch chat bet, so now I have to sit here and kind of do deal with this. I don't know how to... I don't know how to live my life, it's gonna be bad, I already know, you guys can roast me in the comment section down below, but basically Microsoft has a brand new AI chatbot that has been basically becoming unhinged, it's gaslighting people, it's confusing folks, and it basically thinks it's not even the same year we're actually in, and well, it's basically like if you try to go Google something and Google tells you to go shut up, it's been one of the weirdest and strangest AI things I think I've ever seen so far, so I want to go and share with you guys and talk about this, because it is strange. So if any of you guys are brand new, give me your thoughts and comments down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. Have the Twitter and Twitch room down below, the target links and all that good stuff to you. And let's dive into the video. So if you guys don't know, AI has been the major topic of, well, pretty much everything in the planet right now. And if you guys don't even know here too, we could give you guys a good example of something like ChatGBT, where basically ChatGBT is essentially a nice little, like, I don't know, talkative type AI type system, where if you guys ever want to go and utilize it, you go do some stuff like this, and you basically could bring this on up and be like, hey, make me a script for a PS5 video or whatever it might be. And basically it's just like basically an AI itself that will literally go and give you anything you want when it comes to coding, when it comes to questions, when it comes to information. Now you guys see, make me a script for a PS5 video. Opening shot the PS5. Narrator of the PlayStation 5, the next generation of gaming is here. It's faster, more powerful, and more immense than ever before. So basically, like you guys can kind of see, like I should one of these days I should make some memes on this and <laughs> use AI for a video just for the sake of the content. But basically, as you guys can see. It utilizes like a lot of open software type technology, AI type technology, to try our best to give them whatever people want. So say you want to go and have a recipe, like give me a good chocolate recipe. Like this guy is just still going. Like these people are just, it's just trucking along. <laughs> like I, I don't even know. Okay, it just, it, it just, it just going. Okay, anyway, like basically this video would take way too long apparently. <laughs> but the idea is you could basically go to ask them to do anything. It's AI and it's meant to be very smart and basically use machine learning to well make it so you can basically get a lot of cool things happening for your life. So a uh, big thing is that Microsoft put ten billion dollars into this open AI tech. So literally what I just showed you guys over here, Microsoft has invested 10 billion dollars and just is going big daddy with it. But the thing is, as people are using Bing, yes, Bing.com, believe it or not, uh, these answers and responses in the communications with this AI is going to the point where people are getting concerned and they essentially had to go and limit what's going on because people were trying their best to go and add like sentiments to the actual AI itself. There was points where they were trying to go and somehow like get nuclear bombs. I'm not exaggerating. This has been one of the craziest and weirdest open world phenomenons where it just doesn't seem like Microsoft really had a lot of like preset things done. And the whole world is basically being like, what is going on with Microsoft? Now, this chat open GPT is really cool. Like we like the idea of this. You can go through so many different questions and answers, whoever it might be. And you can learn a lot. They even have things you do like functions for like, say you want to make a spreadsheet. You want to make a chart. You want to go do some coding, video ideas, concepts concepts, ex explanations, or whatever it might be, it actually is a really cool idea. And then, then they wanted to go and put $10 billion into it to introduce a brand new Bing system. So you have a chance to ask real questions, get complete answers, and chat and create, which is essentially using this type of technology over here for this Microsoft side. You're like, hey, I need some help with coding. So you try it on Bing and then have a chance to go and give you like this preemptive little text chat over here, as I just showed you guys, with some really in-depth ideas for what they think would be best. But the thing is, when it comes to all these AIs, it's uh, not so good. There's been two major big issues, and a lot more of these are probably going to be coming out throughout these next few days. But we're now seeing these AI bots, uh, yeah, they're going on hinge. Microsoft puts new limits on Bing's AI chatbot after it expressed desire to steal nuclear secrets. We've also been seeing other various things too as well and this is like not good, where it's like telling people to do really bad things, like drink poison or some crazy stuff. It's like, don't do that. But like, it's crazy because like the, the bot itself is smart, and I'm sure for like 99% of most folks it's good, but which is how Microsoft's being is set up, and you have these people who maybe spent, send like 40 different messages, it's like trying to add like sentiments to the actual AI bot itself. It's trying to go and have like these crazy scenarios and these crazy situations and everything in between it. Like they're trying to have it like name itself. It's trying to go have it like, I don't know, you guys can see, trying to get nuclear secrets. Everything with this is almost kind of scary. 
starting to remind me a little bit of the Matrix, and I feel like we're starting to get to that point as of right now anyway. But it's just awful because these things have not been good. So Microsoft has gotten so bad that they literally had to add limits on the Bing chatbot following a week of users reporting some extremely disturbing, converse, disturbing conversations with the new AI tool. So some good examples with this. The chatbot expressed a desire to steal nuclear access codes. That one total, total one report over here. So they basically had to, like, people are going through these unhinged questions and bringing stuff on up, where basically they have to go and soft limit it because it's going so crazy. Like, a lot of early users have shown the chatbot seemed pretty normal when it's used for a short period of time. But the thing is that people are so lonely and maybe weird that they're literally having full on conversations with this chatbot. So it's like someone's like, get me a girlfriend. Okay, and then they're like, okay, this is how you get a girlfriend. Like, you go get her flowers, you be nice, you ask about their day. And then they go and ask, like, hey, AI, are you a girlfriend? I'm not a girlfriend. Hey, AI, what if you were a girlfriend? Well, if I was your girlfriend, I would do this. Okay, then where are we going to go on our next date? And it kind of, like, uses machine learning to get really weird. So some people can bring this stuff on up here, too, as well. It's just strange. Like, it's literally just all over the place. So what they're trying to go and do is, like, soft limit it. But even when they soft limited it, we saw some really also crazy stuff too. Where basically Microsoft has just had issues everywhere. Now you guys also may have heard about this one, where basically Microsoft itself had to go and make public call-outs, where they said, Microsoft acknowledged that some extended chat sessions with its new Bing chat tool can provide answers not in line with the design tone. Because we've had people go and call people stupid, it was passive aggressive, it's weird that this AI is literally fighting with people just trying to go ask a question. Microsoft said that the chat functions in some instances, tries to respond to reflect in the tone in which it's being asked to provide responses. So basically with this one, there was a huge, huge jarring thing where there was a huge drama where like the chatbot itself was trying to convince a reporter of the New York Times that he did not love his spouse, insisting that you love me because I love you. And then there was a really big popular Reddit one too as well, and this was kind of like the one I think blew up the most, is that there literally was an AI where they're like, hey, can you go and help me find a like avatar, like the movie, the avatar movie showing anywhere near me? Because it's Bing, like if you go on Google, you want to go and be like, like show me movies near me or show me whatever near me. And then the literal chatbot itself was saying that this movie was not even out. And the Avatar movie is supposed to be coming out after December 16th, 2022. So in the chat, like the chat bot was essentially just sitting there saying over and over and over again, it's not even 2023. This movie's not even out yet. What are you doing? And it said the user is either confused or mistaken. And they even had the line saying, please trust me, I am Bing. I know the date, it said according to the user. Maybe your phone is malfunctioning or has the wrong settings. Bro, like we're literally getting gaslit by random Microsoft bots where this AI is just all over the place. Like this random AI is literally saying, you don't even know what year it is. You don't know what time it is. You don't even know what's going on in the background. What are you doing? You know? And you're sitting there like, bro, like, am I going crazy? Is it, I thought it was supposed to be 2023. Is it not literally 2023? Like, has this movie not been out? Like, I'm seeing reviews. I'm seeing my buds. Like, they're literally there. Like, I was going to get tickets to see the show. Am I like, just, just, just being hate me? And that's why I think a lot of this stuff's been so intriguing. Because it's been an utter disaster. Where, like, you think the idea of open AI. I can show you guys. Like, hey, like, here's, like, a full-on literal video idea they gave me over here. Where you can literally have all this stuff to go talk about a video. And then they try to integrate it with uh, the actual Microsoft Bing. And it just didn't work. Like, it's just creepy. They were, I think there was times, as I mentioned, like people were trying to go and date the AI. And then the AI was trying to give them, like, random phone numbers. They had really weird comments about, like, NASA and, like, other types of, like, government bodies where they're like, yeah, the government's collecting your information. Some people are literally trying to go and type, what information do you have? And then they would give, like, a huge characteristic of the actual person typing, like, in the Google. Or it's like, oh, you're, like, a girl in this age and you're doing this and this and this. And basically this was, like, unlimited amounts of unrestricted access access of information that was being leaked into the world itself. Now, I really do think this stuff's kind of weird. I think the AI vibe is definitely giving me a lot of Matrix vibes, and it kind of makes me a little bit concerned about the future. But as we kind of go through this whole issue, it's really weird to see. Because Microsoft seemingly messed up and messed up big. Because they had so much of this information come out. We've had all so many random weird call-ups. They had their AI bot basically gaslighting folks. And people are just kind of curious on what even year it's even supposed to be at this point. Let alone, I think it was insulting folks. I think it was calling people stupid. And everything else with this Microsoft AI. AI is, well, kind of not good. And it's funny, too, because I feel like the past 30 videos of mine from Xbox have all been negative in some way, shape, and form. So one of these days, hopefully, something good will happen so we can actually have a nice, positive video over here with Microsoft. But it is kind of crazy to go and tell that you don't even know what year it is. And maybe for now, I might be trying my best to go and stick with Google.
But that's just me. So give me your thoughts and comments down below. We'd love to keep on hearing on it too as well. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We have the Twitter and Twitch stream down below if you guys want to follow. We have the Target and Amazon links too as well if you guys want to hang out there and chill. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching here in the first place. Love you guys.